Hey guys, it's Adam A.K. Swimming Bird, and welcome back to Mario Kart 8. Last time, Metal Mario stomped out the competition and took home the Golden Shell Cup, but today a new character will challenge the Banana Cup. This was another close pick, but Lemmy Koopa ultimately beat me. Or beat my me. You guys know what I mean. Once again, please leave a comment letting me know which character you think I should use for the Leaf Cup, and the one with the most thumbs up will be in the next video. And if you're enjoying Mario Kart, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. And by the way, thank you guys so much for all of your help. It means a lot to me. So we're grabbing Lemmy, and we're going to use the speedy new sports coupe with slick tires and my favorite glider so far, the Cloud. Okay, it's the littlest Koopa Lemmy versus the Banana Cup. Let's do it. The first in this batch of beautifully redone retro courses is Dry Dry Desert from the GameCube game Mario Kart Double Dash. I like this one a lot. It looks like Hammer Brothers came here thousands of years ago and carved all these statues. They used their hammers to chisel a sphinx and different sculptures in their own image. And the, I don't know, the Koopas have been around a long time, it looks like. There we go. Let's bash everybody out of the way. i got to be a little careful here, because Lemmy is one of the lightest characters. He's as light as the babies and the lightest me, so we need to be careful with him. I'm going to use this to just boost across here. And, oh, I hit my brother. He knocked me into a pokey. Jeez. Oh, then a shell came out of nowhere. I'm not having good luck so far. Ah, uh, Iggy. He hit me, and then a shy guy's bumping into me. Come on, Lemmy. We can do this. I love Lemmy's little rat tail. He's adorable. He's so small, but he's got really cool look to him. He's uh, he's named after the lead from Motorhead, Lemmy, and uh, <laughs> is a famous rocker. And he uh, he's got his cool rat tail. Usually he has crossed eyes, but I don't think he does in this. It doesn't look like it. That would be very difficult to drive if you have crossed eyes. So they uh, I think that he's not using that in this iteration. But yeah, he's really cool looking, this like multicolored mohawk going on. There's Ludwig, he's also ahead of me. I really want to unlock him. Like I mentioned, he's my favorite Koopa. He got inked and he's just driving to the side there. I guess he's given up a little bit until the ink goes away. Let's get these coins. Go, go, go. Yeah, Lemmy's always been kind of the crazy Koopa. He uh, He's kind of got like a circus theme as well. He usually rides on a, uh, a giant ball when you fight him in boss battles. And he'll throw bombs and stuff too. The bombs that he throws have, and the balls have little, like, stars on them. It kind of reminds me, I've been playing Kirby recently, the new Kirby Triple Deluxe. Uh, uh, and uh, the little Poppy Bros bombs that you can get with Kirby have little stars on them, too. Maybe it's just a common theme for bombs. Like, so sometimes you see them with, like, skull and crossbones on them, but it's funny to see them, like, circusy designs. We can use that for a jump as well. These little hot springs spewing out of the desert oasis. The Sphinx is really cool. Yeah, this one got a nice big old upgrade in looks. Jump over that. You always want to find little things to boost yourself off of. I don't know if I should risk my green shell. I think I'm just going to keep it. Because, yeah, I don't want to risk uh, getting something worse or having a, a period where I'm not holding something. You really want to play it safe when you're in first because you, uh, you can lose your lead so quickly. Like, I just went off-road a little bit there. These desert tracks. Oh, jeez. Okay, I think Wendy might have gotten... No! <laughs> I was like, Wendy might have hit that red shell, but the blue shell definitely went for me. This is also weird to have uh, have Lemmy racing in the desert first, because he's almost always in, like, ice worlds when he is in charge of a world when Bowser and uh, the rest of the Koopalings take over places. He's always in, like, ice places, so he probably doesn't like the heat. That's all right. We gotta do it. I'm gonna try to hit Wendy. She's got a shell on her butt. She threw it off right at the right second there. And I might be able to pull a victory out of my butt here because, uh, there we go. Yeah, we did it. We hit her right at the right time. Nice. Good going, little guy. Rock on, Lemmy. <laughs> okay, course number two, Donut Plains 3 for the Super Nintendo, the original Super Mario Kart. This one got a big facelift. There's like a toad house over there. Aw, and little castles. Yoshi's jumping around of various colors with the toads. Yeah, I like th there's so much color in this course. Even the little like starting positions have color. This one is probably one of the the most remade of them, and it looks great here. Uh, the the tracks in Super Mario Kart, the original, used to there was like a, f a few different themes to them, and they all just had like numbers. So it's kind of funny to see like Donut Plains 3 was the one that they picked and stuff. But yeah, that was the one that started it all. I'm not, I, uh, I've, I've played that one a bit, but I'm not that great at it. That Piranha Plant came out of nowhere. I want one of those. Um, I remember when I was really into Super, or Mario Kart 64, my, my, one of my sisters had a boyfriend that was really into Super Mario Kart, and he brought his Super Nintendo over, this was before I had one, 
and we played Super Mario Kart, and I was like, yeah, I could probably beat him. I'm really good at Mario Kart 64. I was all confident, and then I just got destroyed because I had never played Super Mario Kart at that time. Yeah, oh, we don't want to go into the water there. We'd probably fall off. I'm not getting great items, or at least I'm not having much luck with them. Whoa. The coins are very abundant in this one, probably because it's referencing uh, the coins were in the original Super Mario Kart, and then they disappeared for quite a while until they were brought back for Mario Kart 7, I believe. They were used in, like, coin battle and different things. Man, some of the corners on this one are really sharp. If I can hit Ludwig, that would be great, but I'm just going to try to go past him. There we go. And the sports coupe has a pretty decent speed. I just stole one of his, his uh, mushrooms there, but it bounced me way over. Yeah, Lemmy being the youngest and lightest of the Koopas. Again, we can get bounced around pretty easily here. Man, they're stealing all my item boxes. Okay, I got one red shell. We're not doing too great. we got to catch up. I'm going to knock Shy Guy out, grab as many coins as I can. That's also probably what's hurting us. We, we haven't had ten coins for a lot of the time here. There we go. Come on, guys. Again, this is my first time on a lot of these courses. Uh, a banana? Come on, I'm in like seventh. Give me something good. I want a crazy aid or something. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to catch up on this one, guys. We're on the last lap. And I really got to get past, like, a bunch of guys here. Let me see if I can pull this victory out as well. Go, 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 go. Uh, we got third, at least. All right, we passed Iggy at the end. I'll take that. Only baby Luigi and Wendy ahead of me. Okay, on to the next one. Banana Cup course number three, Royal Raceway from Mario Kart 64. Man, this one's even more beautiful than it was. We got little cherry blossom trees flowing around. This is really cool looking. I loved this one. <laughs> oh, there's swan boats as well. I loved this one when I played Mario Kart 64 because you could actually go off the road and go see the castle from Mario Kart 64. I would do that a lot. That's where the, the trophy uh, awards would take place and stuff too. Oh man, the music. Nostalgic. This is so good. There we go. I think this was also the music for Luigi's uh, Raceway as well in that game. They might have re used the music for a couple different courses. I drafted there with Wendy a little bit. Thank you, sis. But I want to get you out of here because I really want to get past you. She's uh, she's another light racer. And I she's not quite as light as Lemmy. She falls into the, the, the light category with, I believe, like Toad and Toadette and stuff. This was always cool. This is like one of the biggest jumps in Mario Kart 64. It's not that crazy by by like the standards of today. <laughs> Wendy just took that shell for me. Thanks, sis. All right. Man, this one is awesome. I love the extra decorations and the different parts that they put into here. There we go. All right, doing good on the first lap. One thing I wanted to mention to you guys, uh, there's a tournament feature online where you can schedule tournaments for times, and I really want to have a tournament with anyone that, uh, that has this game. If you guys are playing this game, I want to know because I want to set up some type of tournament and have a, a bunch of race. I'm going to record it and we can have some races with a bunch of you guys and it will be awesome. I might get destroyed because I haven't, I haven't had as much time to practice. I've been trying to play through the tracks as I record. Oh geez, we did not get the boost there. Are we still going to be able to glide? Oh my gosh, we're not going as fast. Oh, I think we can make it over still. Listen to the music. <laughs> when you get hurt with the lightning, it always like makes it all weird. Wendy, I hate you, Wendy. Get out of here. Don't hit that banana. Oh, geez, Iggy's in the way, too. It's like my siblings are really trying to win here and get out ahead of me. Whoa, I, sh I should be a little careful with uh, who I try to bump into because Iggy is a normal race. He's a medium weight, so he's about, about the same weight as Mario or Luigi. Here we go, grab some more coins, and he just knocked me off the track, but I got my boost there to get back on, luckily. I gotta be very careful with this. Uh, yeah, that's the one thing. Be careful with these light racers. Hey, someone left a mushroom on the track. Thank you very much. I think that's gonna work. But yeah, I'm gonna try to schedule some type of tournament here. I wanna wait till after we're done with all the cups, of course, so it might not be this weekend. I'm gonna start playing Tombodachi Collection as well. But yeah, pretty soon here, I wanna try to do a tournament, so hopefully you guys will be geared up and excited and we will have one of those and I'll either I'll either record it or stream it for you guys or something like that we'll see yeah but yeah we'll have more more info here there we go pulled out a victory that was close I saw a boomerang fly right at the end there someone almost hit me all right last course of the banana cup appropriately is the DK jungle from Mario Kart 7. This has a lot of references to Donkey Kong Country Returns, the little tiki enemies. That parrot is adorable. It's not Squawks, but it's just a giant parrot. It looks like he would swoop down and just like pick up one of the babies and fly off before the race. That's really grim. Hopefully he doesn't steal any of the babies. <laughs> Parrots don't eat babies. Oh no, I backfired. That's not good. 
Hopefully Lemmy's acceleration will help me. Ludwig there taunting me that I haven't unlocked him yet. This one's pretty cool. I, I remember this one. It's got all these references to Donkey Kong. And yeah, like I said, it's in the banana cup, so it makes sense that they would put it here. Let's look out for these Tiki guys, though. Do not want to hit into them. We're catching up here. Try to boost past these guys. And don't go too far, Lemmy. Oh, jeez. I'm not made for off-road either. The sports coupe is definitely a, uh, a a car that should stay on the track. Doesn't have very good tires here, especially the slick tires. Yeah, they're made for speed and not really for anything else. We're going through this golden banana temple. Let's knock into people if we can. There we go. Out of my way, guys. Thank you. I keep wanting to ram people even though I'm not that big of a uh, eraser. It's just instinctually I'm like ramming into them. Ooh, there's a little shortcut there. I don't know if I could... Uh, might need a boost or something to make it. It looks a little shorter. There we go. Wendy took it. I'm going to try to hit her. She's in my way. I'll do anything. Even if I, that means I have to uh, destroy my siblings <laughs> as we're karting. Right now, this is this is just a fun kart experience. We're not worried about capturing Princess Peach or beating Mario. So they can kind of relax and fight each other. I guess it's a good way to get out their sibling aggression. I'm going to keep this banana on my bum. And look out for this frog. Uh, there's frogs everywhere. Okay. <laughs> this is a jungle, after all. Whoa. This is one of those parts where uh, it kind of reminds me of the Donkey Kong uh, course in Double Dash. There was that bridge right at the end that you would, like, fly off of all the time. I have some bad memories with that. Okay, we got to look out for these guys. They're going to try to hit me with smoke or fall on me. I know in the, the Returns games, they would, like, fall over on you. All right. We're doing good. We're in the lead for now, but I feel like Wendy and Iggy are probably... Not too far behind. Oh my gosh, I shouldn't have looked around. There's a Prana player coming up on, on my bottom here. All right, we got to go grab some more coins. There we go, we got 10. I hope we get enough to uh, unlock some more parts here. There's a few cars and some different stuff that I really want. Okay, we got hit and I dropped my banana peel, but I think that the red shell still uh, got hit on the banana there. It was like close enough behind me. Uh, oh, I missed the items. That is going to come back to haunt me, I'm guessing. Let's look out for frogs. Nope! <laughs> that was close. <laughs> yeah, this one's awesome. It looks even better, too. Please, please, no! Oh, no. Not good. Not good. Uh-oh, baby Mario. Oh, my gosh. If we do badly on this, I might be in trouble, guys, because I'm not that far ahead. Let's see if I can hit one of these guys. There we go. We went out of anti-gravity at that last second there. Please give me something good so I can hit baby Luigi. Oh, oh I passed him. Please hit, hit it. Nope, nope, nope. I don't think I'm going to be able to pass him. I really hope I can win this one, guys. Let's see the final results. We only got second. I think I might have enough points to pull out a victory. We did. All right. Let's go see the results. Banana cup down. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, please leave a like if you enjoyed this. Let's see what we unlocked. Okay, we got our trophy. It's on a little barrel. That's awesome. All right. DK wasn't even racing here. We got the leaf cup. We unlocked a new character, and we got a new part. Let's go check it out here. So let's cross our fingers. I hope I get Ludwig, but we'll see who we got. It's, yes, we got Ludwig. Okay, I don't want to sway your votes again, but you know, vote for whatever character you want to see and the one with the most thumbs up and the most comments will be the one that we play as next time. Let's check out the part that we got. It's a new racer. It's the Steel Driver based off of the game Steel Diver. <laughs> nice little reference there. Thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you next time for the Leaf Cup. Goodbye.